Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Good evening, Raquel. Good evening, Morena, Joao, Victor, Vladimir. Welcome to class. It's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Uh, we are about to finish our third week, right? So this week we are going to finish the section number four. And for next mm -hmm. week, we are going to start the section number five and finish with the final uh, exam. So um, I would like to ask if uh, there's uh, someone that is advancing in the platform and if you have had some difficulties that maybe I can help or is everything okay with the platform? Yes, teacher. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yeah, eh, tell me. Nos han, eh, por ejemplo, a mí me enviaron un mensaje el día domingo de que estaba incompleto con la plataforma, pero yo ya había completado todo. No sé en qué se basan ellos para identificar si está, que está incompleta. Ok, sometimes this is a reminder. Algunas veces es un recordatorio, ¿verdad? Eh, que ellos hacen, podría ser que en general, ¿verdad? Todos. Eh, pero igual habría que revisar, hacer un refresh, ¿verdad? Para asegurar que, que sus datos están, eh, digamos, actualizados en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, uh, so what I recommend you is to take a, um, a short screen, right? A, oh, a screen, yeah. A print screen, right? Uh, of the advances you have, right? So in that way, you, you make sure that you have your... Um, all the advances that you need to have and all the um, evidences, right? That you are advancing in the, the path that is expected that you have uh, by the end of the, of the week, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher, thank You're you. You're welcome, you're welcome, my dears. Okay, perfect. So uh, for, to, for tonight, I'm going to show you the, okay. Uh, the lesson objective 4.5, that's the, the part we are going to work tonight. And it says, by the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation. So let's see, let's move this. Which illustrates uh, some cultural differences in food, right? So that's what you have in the platform. If you go, you will find that we have a conversation between Sara and Kumiko. So they are talking about uh, having breakfast. But if you see, uh, they say that uh, for Japanese people, it's very common to have, for example, fish uh, for breakfast, which is not normally for the rest of the people. So even here in El Salvador, it's not normal that we have fish for, for breakfast. Normally we have fish for, um, let's see, for lunchtime or maybe for dinner, but not for um for uh, breakfast. However, in, in El Salvador, we can find some differences also. For example, if you go to the east part of the country, maybe you can find some differences in the way they take the, uh, breakfast. So the idea is that um, you can uh, have some words, you can take some words here. For example, uh, they are using always, which is a frequency advert that we are going to study uh, next. Uh, you can have also words like, for example, uh, usually, which is another uh, frequency adverb. And then you have um, sometimes, which is another frequency adverb we are going to study tonight. We have the word never. For example, I just will take the time for reading. Sara says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. So it's como, tenga, desayunemos, but that's a let's, es desayunemos, hagámoslo juntas. Desayunemos juntas el, el domingo, Sunday. So Kumiko says, okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. So it means that they cook very traditional like in Japan because they are Japanese people. So um, eh, she asks, really, what do you have? Eh, then Kumiko says, we usually have fish, rice and soup, imagine, for breakfast. Fish for breakfast, she says. That's interesting. Sometimes uh, we, have a, uh, we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but uh, I like to try new things. So uh, I like to see Sarah's attitude because uh, she's open-minded, right? And she says, okay, I have never done, I have never 
uh, have a fish uh, for breakfast, but I will try. So that's good. Culturally, it's okay. For example, if you visit another country, uh, sometimes you need to be open-minded in order to try uh, the foods they offer you. Uh, sometimes it's considered um, unpolite if you say, no, I don't want, or no, I, I don't like it. So sometimes you have to try just a little bit in order to be polite, right? Okay, let's go to lesson objectives. So basically what I recommend you to do is to go to the platform and to watch and to listen that video in order that you can pronounce the new words, that you can repeat them, that you can do it several times until you get the right pronunciation, right, for all those new words you can find. Uh, for the 4.7 lesson objective, it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. So in this case, we are going through the topic of frequency adverbs. And um, here, as I said before, you have another video uh, in the platform that uh, expresses the frequency adverbs. For example, we are going to focus on always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. And um, we, we can have expressions to ask, for example, do you ever? have fish for breakfast. That means, um, do you ever, alguna vez, verdad, desayunas pescado, right? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Um, so um, we are going to see a like an scale uh, where you can uh, see uh, the percentages when uh, we use one of other uh, frequency adverbs. So later we will come to the knowledge check in order to solve this exercise, but I will stop and I will go to the presentation that I have for you tonight because I would like that we can have some exercises also and that you can practice uh, talking to each other. So let me share and confirm. Uh, can you watch my new screen, my dears? Yes, teacher. Excellent, excellent, very good. So. Uh, basically, excuse me, because I went to the end. Okay. Uh, first, we are going to start with the definition of a frequency adverb, right? So, a frequency adverb is, um, tell us basically uh, how often something takes place. How often is, uh, que tan a menudo, que tan frecuente, right? How often. Remember that how often is a WH word or WH question that help us to ask the frequency that something takes place. So remember that the, that the adverb always modifies a verb, right? And, and normally they, they go uh, at, uh, before the verb, that, but we are going to see some exercises, some models, and you will see. But basically um, the definition says that an adverb always modifies a verb, right? So uh, if you see here this pyramid, uh, which is inverted, you see that we have never, 0% is the frequency adverb never, 5% rarely, 10% seldom, 30% occasionally, 50% sometimes, 70% often or frequently, 80% normally or generally, uh, normally and generally, they are synonyms. Uh, the same is often and frequently. And 90% is uh, usually and 100% is always. So the percentage means the possibility that something occurs or takes place. For example, I always wake up at six o'clock. It means that this is an habit for me. So since this is an habit, no matter if it's weak and my, my body, um, my body um, clock, we can say, is programmed to wake up at six o'clock. So I, I'm always ready uh, at that time to get up. 90% uh, of possibilities uh, that something happens or occurs is when I use usually, right? The frequency adverb usually. I say, I usually come home after work. It means that it's very, or that seldom, the other 10% is seldom that I go to other place because I usually come home after work. 
80%. Um, I normally swim after school. It means that uh, it's a, a very uh, frequent activity that uh, it's normal for me to swim after school. 70%. 70% um, means um, the possibility, and the example is I often spend Christmas with, Christmas with friends. So it means that there's only a 30% remind, um, remaining that occasionally it doesn't happen, but often or frequently I spend Christmas with friends. Uh, the 50-50, it's when we have 50-50 possibilities, and that's the frequency adverb sometimes. For example, I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. It means that uh, there's half uh, possibilities to do it or not. Uh, occasionally. I use occasionally when I have 30% of certainty that something will occur. So I say, I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. So you can say, I occasionally eat Chinese food. I occasionally eat uh, Mexican food. Or you can replace uh, the name of the food in the example. 10%, seldom. It's not uh, something frequently. It's very rare, we can say. When, and then the example says, I seldom go to the library. It means that this is not a very common activity that I do. It's very, um, you can say even rarely. But we have here rarely, uh, 5%. I rarely listen to the radio. Remember that when you use the verb listen, you have to use the particle to, listen to. To listen to the radio, to listen to your boss, to listen to your mom, to listen to me, to listen to your son, to listen to your daughter. Always, always, the, it's a two-word verb, verb that goes with two words, listen plus two. And zero percent, it's never, right? It means that there's no possibility, right? There's no possibility that, that uh, this uh, happens. So I say, I never listen to rock music, for example, right? So that's an example. So um, I have here more examples. 100%, I always study after class. 90%, I usually walk to work. 80%, I normally or generally, we said that those are synonyms. I normally or I generally get good marks. 70%, I often or frequently read in bed at night. 50%, I sometimes sing in a shower. 30%, occasionally. I occasionally go to the bed late. 10%, seldom. I seldom put salt on my food. 5%, hardly ever or rarely. I hardly ever or rarely get angry. 0%, never. Vegetarians never eat meat, okay? So the formula to write it on a sentence is subject uh, plus adverb plus main verb. So here you have, for example, uh, here, I hardly ever get angry. I say subject, I, the adverb hardly ever, plus the main verb, the get, plus the complement, right? Angry. But uh, you can have the other structure. And I, I would like that you can be careful with this. But uh, because this subject plus adverb plus main verb is when you're using any verb that is not verb to be, right? This rule, the first, apply only for verbs that are different from verb to be. When you have a verb to be in a sentence, the, the formula, it's different. It's quite different. You have, for example, here subject. It always goes at the beginning. But in that case, you have first the verb be plus the adverb. That's the, the difference when you use verb to be. And you have here an example. He is always happy, right? He is always happy. If you see, since it's a verb to be conjugation, I have to move the verb immediate, immediately after the subject. And before, um, 
the adverb. So, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. No teacher in this no. moment. No, okay, perfect, mm -hmm. excellent. So just be careful with the formula uh, of the verb you're using. Okay, here I have more examples. Um, I, using always, I always go to bed before 11 p.m. I usually have cereal for breakfast. I normally go to the gym. I often or frequently surf the internet. I sometimes forget my wife's birthday. I occasionally eat junk food. Junk food is a synonym of trash food, right? Seldom. I seldom read the newspapers. I hardly ever drink alcohol. I never swim in the sea. Okay, so those are more examples. So now we are going to practice. So I would like to have like one volunteer for this question and I would like that you can answer. So I'm going to ask you, for example, how often do you exercise? How often do you go to sleep? How often do you dance? How often do you go to the cinema? How often do you go to the mountain? How often do you ride a bike? How often do you play soccer? And how often do you go for a walk? So I would like to ask, for example, and you have to use the frequency adverb. So I'm going to send you uh, this chart or maybe the other one, but it's maybe this one. Okay, if you can take a picture, it's going to be okay. So I'll send it to you just to have it as a reference. Yeah. It is correct, sir. Uh, I always uh, um, have a uh, main exercise on week. I Only always do uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, you say I always do exercise uh, from Monday to Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, I always. I always, always, uh -huh. yes. I always do exercise from Monday to Friday. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So let me send to you the image for you to have it now. Okay, here um, you have the, the image already in the, in the WhatsApp group, in the chat. So you can take it as reference in order to answer the question that I will ask, okay? So uh, who wants to start? Who wants to be the first volunteer for this exercise? Remember that here the idea is that you can speak more than I do and you can practice. Okay, let's see. Who wants to start? My teacher. Okay, Morenita, Morenita, right? No, Janari. Excuse me. Janari, okay. Janari, mm -hmm. how often do you exercise, Janari? I never do exercise. Okay, excellent. Good answer. Uh, okay, thank you, Janari. Next volunteer. Let's see. Hi. Okay, let's see who sent me. Morenita. Okay, Morenita, how often do you go to the beach? Sometimes I go to the beach. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Morena. I need another volunteer for answering number three. Me teacher. Okay, please Adonai. How often do you dance? I sometimes dance with I go to the party. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I need volunteer for number four. Me teacher. Okay, let's see who said me. I usually go to the cinema. Okay, I you say I usually go to the cinema to the question how often do you go to the cinema? Excellent. Thank you. Number five, volunteer for number five. Yep. Okay, Vladimir, how often do you go to the mountain, Vladimir? Um fre frequently? Frequent. Frequently. Uh, frequent. Frequent? Frequently. Frequently? I, I frequently I, go. Often to the go. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say I often go to the mountain or I frequently go to the mountain. 
I frequently go to the mountain. Excellent, excellent. It's a beautiful place, the mountain. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, volunteer for number six. Let's Me, see. teacher. Okay, please. How often do you ride a bike? Never often <laughs> the ride. I, I don't have a bike. <laughs> okay, so you say, I never ride a bike. I don't have a bike. Or you can say, I never ride a bike because I don't have a bike. Excellent. Thank oh, you. Okay, Very thank good. you. Okay, number seven. Volunteer for number seven. Let's see. Soccer lovers. Where are my soccer lovers here? Let's see, let's see. Carlos. Okay, Carlos. How often do you play soccer? I usually go to the play soccer. Go to play soccer. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, and number eight, the last. I need one volunteer, one extra volunteer for the last uh, question of this exercise. Let's see, let's see, my dear ladies. Let's see, maybe Monica. Would you like to answer this question, Monica? I don't know if she can hear us. Okay. Teacher number number eight. Yes. How often do you go for a walk? In salir a caminar. In work. Ah. Uh -huh. In always. I always. I always for a walk. Go for a walk. In, I, mm -hmm. Every morning. Every morning, okay. I always go for a walk every morning. Thank you, Monica. That's a good exercise. Uh, a, a very good exercise to be healthy. Thank you very much, my dear, uh, for concluding the exercises. If you see, what I have been doing is ask you how often and how often this and this and that. And uh, since it's a question, if you see, I always, I am using the, the, the do, right? How often do you exercise? In this case, do is the auxiliary exercise, the main verb. How often do you go? In this case, I'm using the auxiliary do, but the main verb go. How often do you dance? Do the auxiliary dance, the main verb. How often do you go to the cinema? Do is the auxiliary for the question and go the main verb and so on. And I'm using the uh, WH word, how often. So whenever they, uh, people ask you um, how often, you normally answer with a frequency adverb. Uh, that means with some of the words that I already taught you. Okay, so here in this exercise, um, it says complete the sentences with the appropriate frequency adverb and the correct form of the verb. For example, I eat pizza. Depending on your likes and dislikes, you can say, I never eat pizza, or I always eat pizza, or whatever, right? Depending. My father drink orange juice. My mother prepare fried eggs. I eat soup when I'm sick. So the, the word in the parentheses is the verb that you have to use with the frequency adverb that you are going to uh, add according to your preference. My best friend, uh, friend milk, drink milk. My English teacher eat cereal for lunch. My sister drinks soda at night. My parents make. Okay, that's the first part of the exercise. We are going to have like uh, three minutes to solve this exercise in team, uh, every team. But later, you will move to the next exercise that says, now ask the following uh, to two of your classmates and report the information in your notebook. Uh, I don't expect that you do all the questions because time is not going to be enough. But we have 10 questions so you can choose which question you are going to ask to your classmate. And since normally we have three people in the groups, you can have the chance to ask two different questions to everyone. For example, how often do you make 
he's at home. How often do your parents let you drink soda? How often do you eat bread, for example? And uh, how often do you eat chicken soup? Um, the other is, um, how often do you eat fruit and vegetables? How often do you make cupcakes? How often do you buy cereal? How often do you eat fried eggs? How often do you eat pizza and french fries? How often do you cook for your family? So if you see, they are very easy questions, all of them related to food. So um, I would like to know if you have questions. Me gustaría saber si tenemos preguntas eh, acerca del ejercicio. There are two parts, right? Son dos partes, ¿verdad? The first one is to complete um, using the verbs in the parentheses. And the second one is to answer according to your preferences, right? Uh, both of them are, uh, it's according to your preferences, but uh, the first one is using the verb that is in the parentheses. Is it clear, my dears? Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, teacher. Okay, my dear. So I'm going to invite you now to go to the breakout rooms. And there, I'm going to stop sharing. And, oops, excuse me. No, that's not the way it is. So I'm going to have the breakout rooms invitation now. So we are going to have just four room for tonight. And please join whenever you receive the invitation, please. Hello, Dennis and Carlita. Do you have a problem joining the group? Hola, perdón, voy manejando. No puedo participar ahorita, lo siento. Está bien, Carlita, no se preocupe. Quédese Solo estoy el... escuchando la clase. No se preocupe, comprendo totalmente. Eh, lo okay. que vamos a hacer es que va a sentir eh, que hay ciertos cambios porque me voy a estar moviendo de grupo en grupo. Ok, Siga está bien. Y no se preocupe, maneje con precaución. Gracias, okay. gracias. You, you can practice later at home. Ok. Yes, sorry. Excellent. Don't worry, I understand perfectly. Ok, see you in a minute. You're welcome. Oh, or never, or occasionally, or sometimes. Mm -hmm. y, y agregarle el verbo. Correcto, solo que en una sí va a cambiar, por ejemplo, en la, en la segunda, donde dice my father. Creo que ahí sí va a cambiar el verbo porque ya sería drinks, ¿verdad? Ya sería drinks porque estamos, pero como, quiero ver, sí, porque estábamos hablando de él, ¿verdad? Tercera persona, sí. Exacto, igual en la tercera, pero no sé qué llevaría ahí la tercera. Prepare. Prepare, sería. No Prepare, cambia, solo la sería, S, sí. Solo it. Ah, solo la S. Y el otro sí sería it. My best Correct. friend, estamos hablando de él. Correcto. Drinks. Ah, okay. Hello, no, no, my no, no, no. dears. Excellent. You're doing a good analysis of the exercise. I like it because you don't forget Thanks. the rules of the, of the simple present for the third person. So I like that. Okay, my Thanks. dears. Do you have questions yes, so far? You. Tenemos uh, no, no questions. No, okay. todo claro. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, see you in a minute. I'll go to the other groups around. Okay. Okay. See you. Okay, teacher. For my mother, my, my mother. Every mm -hmm. morning, todas las mañanas, prepare free egg. 
Eso, eso, ser, eso sería eso como no. simplemente ponerle ahí. Hello, oh, my dear. No, podría ser my, mo my mother offer, offer for a pair. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dears. I just would like to give you some advices. Um, when you're solving the exercise, please don't forget to, uh, don't forget the rules of the third person singular. For example, if you say, my mother every morning prepares, right? Because I'm talking about my mother. Do you remember that rule? ¿Se recuerdan de esa regla? Sí, sí. Eh, que le agregamos la letra S, es, ¿verdad? Eh, esa tercera eh, persona. Well, yes, when we talk about he, she, or it, right? So, yes. in this case, eh, since we are talking about she, we say prepares. Okay. Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Okay, please, please okay. just take, take, it in, take it into consideration in, in, in solving the exercise. Okay, um, if you don't have questions, uh, I will leave you to continue working and I'll come back in a minute, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, you will have like five more minutes in order to complete both exercises. Okay, see you there. Hello, hello. hello, teacher. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello, do you have questions? Teacher, how often uh, do, eat cereal do you for eat lunch? cereal for lunch? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, believe me, I never eat cereal for lunch. Sí, la tenemos buena. <laughs> I always eat, uh, let's see. No, never, never. <laughs> I always <laughs> eat anything else, even for breakfast. I normally oh, have okay. a, a very Salvadorian <laughs> breakfast, but cereal, mm -hmm. it's very strange. <laughs> All, only for my little girl. <laughs> sometimes it's, it's for the breakfast because it's very fast. Yes, sometimes. sometimes. But in other times, it's the best, the Salvadorian food. Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes, the best of pupusas. Yes, I love pupusa. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. okay. I, prefer, I prefer eggs, uh, and red beans, and bread. Yes. For, for, um, for my breakfast. Yes, bananas, platanito. <laughs> okay, sí, sí. Ah, eso le voy a preguntar. Bananas también es el mismo que plátano. Yes, sometimes it's, it's well known okay. as uh, fried bananas. Okay, fried bananas. Yeah, that's bananas. the most common. I just want to remind you something. Uh, when, when you talk, for example, when you say my English teacher uh, mm -hmm. never eats, because remember that you are talking about a third person. Third person. He yeah. or because she. It's you. Uh, yeah, but it's she it's or he is he. So when mm -hmm. you talk about he, she, or it, remember that you mm -hmm. have to add the letter S to the S verb. For the yeah? verb. So, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. In affirmative sentences, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, do you Thank have you. questions? No, okay. right now, teacher. Okay, no. excellent. See you in a minute then, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Unas, unas cuantas, no todas, o todas. I don't know, teacher. Hello, I'm here. Do you have questions, my dears? Sí. Um, tell me, tell me. En la segunda parte, ¿vamos a escoger algunas para responder o todas? No, not all of them because time is not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So, since you are three people, you can choose like three questions. Oh. Uh, you decide if you ask the same question to each one or if you add an extra question uh, to change a little bit. Yeah, but I expect no more than two questions each because it's impossible that you ask the 10 questions, right? Okay. Uh, I, I expect uh, like two questions uh, per person, right? Okay. Teacher, otra, una última yeah. pregunta. Yeah, yeah. En esa primera parte, la oración número 8, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué trata de decir ahí cuando dice make? 
Friday my is Friday. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's it's not uh, completed. Uh, it's completed. Complete, yeah. My parents make uh, homework with me. My 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 parents um, make uh, let's see uh, something. Make some um, let's see some. Um, let's think. Um, my parents make some arrangements uh, for my school. Uh, everything where you can use make, but if you want okay. to change the verb, my you can say my parents cook the dinner for me, right? Mm -hmm. You can use another verb if you want, right? Okay, okay, excellent. Okay, yes, see you in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, Raquel, how often do you make pizza? How is, it going? How is it going, my dears? ¿Cómo va todo? Uh, did you finish the first part? ¿Terminamos la primera parte? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, and what about the second part? Uh, have you been able to ask at least two questions each? ¿Han podido conversar al menos de dos preguntas cada uno? Sí, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. So see you in a minute, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Hello, hello. How, how uh, was the exercise? Uh, were you able to complete the first part? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent, yes. excellent, very good. Can you watch my screen? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I need eight volunteers uh, to explain how you finish this uh, first part and then I would like to have like the small conversations uh, from all the participants. So who would like to start? with the number one. Me, teacher. Okay, please have a night. Okay, I sometimes eat pizza. Excellent, very good, thank you. Volunteer for number two? Hi, teacher. Yes, please. My father occasion, occasionally drink orange juice. Okay, excellent. Uh, drinks, you say drinks with S, right? Drink. Drinks. Excellent, mm -hmm. yes. excellent, very good. Okay, number three? Monica, please. Monica is raising hands. Veo la manita de Monica. My mother, mm -hmm. every morning, prepare free eggs. 
Okay, prepares, prepares, right? Prepares. prepares. We have to add the yes. S because I'm talking about my mother. Uh, she, right? Thank you, Monica. Okay, number four. Volunteer for number four. Me. Okay, please go ahead. I always eat soup when I am sick. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Number five. Me, teacher. Yes, please go ahead. My best friends always drinks milk. Excellent. Always drinks milk. Okay, number me. six. Yes, me. please. Please go ahead. Adelante. My English my English teacher usually eats cereal for lunch. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. Excellent. Number seven. Volunteer for number seven. Me. Yes, please go ahead. My sister always drinks soda at night. Excellent. Drinks. Remember, Drink. drinks. To, to, you have to make an effort to add the S. Drinks. Because she's my sister. Okay. Thank you. Number eight. The last of this part. Let's see. Do I have a volunteer for number eight? Okay. This was not yeah. complete. Okay. But you can try. No sé si quedará bien, pero es my parents make it exercise. Yes, you can, uh, in this case, often, you can often. change do. My, my, you can change make for do in this case. My parents so, often do exercise. My parents do? Exercise. Often, exercise. Often, often okay. do, my parents often, often do. do exercise. Yeah, excellent, okay. very good, excellent. Uh, the difference uh, with make is that uh, make is when you do something uh, with your hands. For example, make pizza. Um, they make uh, handcrafts. They make, um, uh, let's see, cookies, for example. Something that involves your hands in the preparation, right? Okay, my dear, thank you. Let's see the second part. Um, I need the teams, uh, that the teams can start asking each other and complete the, the questions you choose, okay? So who wants to start? Which, which team is going to start? En esta parte vamos a trabajar los equipos, ¿verdad? Eh, tal cual fueron conformados para que hagan sus preguntas eh, y completen, ¿verdad? La ronda de preguntas que se hicieron en el, en el breakout room. Okay. Raquel, lo hacemos. Raquel y Vladimir. Sí. Demo. Okay. Excellent. Yes, yes. Raquel, how often do you make pizza at home? I never make pizza at home. Never. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. Ask me. Morena. Eh, um, quiero ver. How do your how do your parents let you drink soda? My parents never drink soda because they are uh, di diabetics. Diabe diabetics. Diabetics. They they diabetes. they suffer uh, di diabetic diabetes. Diabetics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Vladimir. How often do you eat bread? Uh, I eat bread sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can say I sometimes eat bread. Sometimes. It's okay. Bread. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Do you finish, my dears? Yes. Excellent. Thank you very much to this team. Congratulations. So I would like to ask the next te next team uh, to continue with the with the questions you did. Let's see. Second team. Let's see, maybe, I don't know if Carlos, Carlos team. Okay, okay Carlitos, could you please um, continue with your team exercise? Number, number four. Yes, okay, you will ask and then your, your classmates going to answer. Okay, Monica. Okay, Monica. How often do you eat? Monica. Okay, estoy aquí. Ahí está okay. Monica, okay. How often do you eat chicken soup? 
I I sometimes eat chicken shop. Okay. Now you asking, Monica. Uh, how how do you how, how often do you make a number five? How yes. often do you eat fruit in vegetal teacher? Como se dice? Uh, fruit and vegetables. Thank you. How often do you fruit and the vegetable? Okay. How often do you eat fruit I, and vegetables? I hardly ever um, eat fruit and vegetable. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Who wants to continue? Thank you, team. Only you two were in the team, right? Solo ustedes dos estaban en el equipo, Carlitos. Sí, teacher. Okay, solo dos había. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, let's see who else. Eh, no sé si el equipo de Víctor ya había participado. No, teacher. Okay, Víctor, please go ahead with your team. Víctor. Eh, yo pregunto o preguntas tú. como un poco de diferencia, pero pregunte. Si quiere pregunto yo porque tengo como un poco de interferencia, luego me pregunto usted. Ok. Eh, sería who often do you make cupcakes? Cupcakes eh, six, ¿verdad? Yes, number I six. never make I yes. never make cupcakes in my home. Cupcakes. Okay, uh, he said that he never makes cupcakes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now you ask him, Victor. Okay, hoy que me pregunte. Correcto. How often do you eat fruit and vegetables? Vegetables. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. I always, I always eat fruit and vegetables. Okay, that's good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's see who else. Um, I don't know if Yanari's team, el equipo de Yanari, yes, ya pasó? No. no okay, teacher. please, go ahead, my dear. Okay, Vicky. Yanari and Vicky. And... Adonai. Okay. 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 Yes. And how often do you eat fruit and vegetable? Well, I always eat fruit and vegetable for lunch. It's good. Now you ask Adonai. Okay. How often do you cook for your family? I sometimes cook for my family. Okay. And Vicky? Mm -hmm. Are you there? Are you there? Hello, Vicky. Hola. Hay una pregunta. Ahí está. Yes. Okay. Uh, how often do you cook for your family? Yanari? I sometimes cook for my family. Okay, excellent. Thank okay. you, team. Thank you very much. Let's see if we have uh, someone missing. Creo que ya no, ¿verdad? El equipo de Morena ya estuvo. El equipo de Vladimir. Ya estuvo, teacher. Ya, ¿verdad? Con Morena. Sí. Excelente. Miguel. Um, no estuve en grupo, teacher, porque me conecté ya bien tarde. No me okay, pude conectar. Miguel. Don't worry. Thank you very much. We understand. Okay. Comprendemos, Miguel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks. my dears. Uh, let's continue then. Um, let's uh, continue with the presentation. And then we are going to finish with what we have in the platform as exercise. So you will have access to this extra material. Today I'm going to upload last night and today. So uh, remember that I said that uh, when you have the correct word order of the frequency adverb is the subject, I, plus the auxiliary verb, when you have another uh, verb tenses, and then the adverb, and then a main verb, right? This is one, one structure. Um, the other is that says that um, normally, Always, hardly ever, seldom, rarely, and never don't go at the beginning. 
you have to say, I always get up early, which was the order that I already showed you, right? Uh, it means that frequency adverbs never uh, go uh, at the beginning of the sentence. They, they never go at the beginning of the sentence. They go after the subject and before the main verb, right? So it means um, after the subject and before the main verb. Okay, so um, here I have an extra, um, an extra pyramid for you. You know that a never is zero percent, zero percent, ten percent is hardly ever, fifty percent sometimes, seventy percent is often, ninety percent is usually, and hundred percent is always, right? So here you have some examples, some extra examples because of the time I won't uh, read it, but I want you to pay attention to this. When we have a positive um, or affirmative sentence with any other verb that is not the verb to be, as I said before, you have this structure. Subject frequency plus frequency adverb plus the verb. He often cooks pasta. He, subject, often, frequency adverb, a verb cooks pasta. Remember that when we are talking about the third person, we always respect the simple present third person rule to add the letter S or ES um, to the verb. Uh, when you have the verb to be, the story is different because then you have to write the subject first, but later you have to add the verb to be. So it's subject plus the conjugation of the verb to be plus the frequency adverb, only with the verb to be. You say, you're always late. And when we have a question, you have the auxiliary verb. It can be verb to be or do, right? Plus the subject, plus the frequency adverb. Are you always late? Does he often cook? So it's a question structure. So um, it says that use never and hardly ever with positive verbs. For example, you don't have to say he is a never late because never is like a negative word, so it's like a double negative. So you have to say, he is never late, right? You don't have to use the negative isn't. Uh, you don't have to say, they don't hardly ever go to the library because hardly ever, it's uh, like a negative. So the, if you add don't, it's like a double negative. So you have to say, they hardly ever go to the library. You don't have to add, the negative don't. So here I will uh, give you this in order that you continue um, uh, practicing at home, right? Uh, do you ever get up before six o'clock? Yes, I always get up before six o'clock. Why do you get up so early? I like to go jogging in a park in the morning. And you can even talk about someone that always get up before six o'clock, someone that all, almost always eats sandwiches for lunch and so on. Okay, uh, we can continue talking about this how often expressions, but I think because of the time we are going to do it uh, tomorrow uh, to complete the topic and you can read it in the extra material. I'm going to stop sharing because uh, with the time left, I would like to go back to the platform in order to, uh, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, teacher. Sure. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Uh, in the platform, you have the knowledge check 4.9. So in this case, what you have to do is to scramble the sentences and write each sentence in the correct order. For example, the first one. Uh, I have breakfast on never weekends. The right order is according to the structure I said. I never have breakfast on weekends. Uh, the second, uh, I hardly ever snacks at work, right? You can write it in, in, in small letters, all capital letters, uh, with a dot, without a dot, but take care of, use the right order. Number two, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner, right? Um, number three, so let me see if it can advance. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
Uh, I often have dinner with my family. Number two. And um, the, the next one is I sometimes uh, drink coffee. You have, again, the explanation of the, of the structure. Sublet, subject plus, plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus the complement. But remember that when is the verb to be, the structure changes a little bit. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue with a 4.10 lesson objective in order to complete this section number four. Okay, my dears, uh, because of the time, I'm going to stop the class here. Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, teacher. No. Okay, my dear, thank you very much for coming. Please be safe, and I hope to see you tomorrow here, okay? Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.